My name's Kevin Dixon. I'm a historian in Torquay. And today we are in the remarkable Tor Abbey, uh, an ancient medieval building and really one of the gems of our town. Uh, one of the interesting things about uh, this as an abbey was that, that it was pre monsatensian It was the richest pre monsatensian abbey in Britain. And uh, one of the unique and interesting things is that the Canons themselves traditionally wore white, and we have an illustration here of one of those canons. Uh, other monasteries, other abbeys, uh, the monks and the canons and the abbots tended to wear the traditional black. But this is this is one way we can actually sort of identify a pre monstratensian abbot. This is the story of the world's most famous kidnapping. It's also the story of the world's most extortionate ransom demand and its association with a small provincial part of England. It is part of the story of our nation. In the year 1192, King Richard of England, uh, Richard the Lionheart, was returning from the Crusade, the Third Crusade, in the Holy Land. As he was returning across the Mediterranean, his ship was wrecked. Uh, therefore, that meant that he had to travel across land. Uh, as he was nearing Vienna, he was seized by Leopold of Austria. Now, uh, Leopold of Austria was, of course, another Christian uh, king, However, um, it, was a, it was a real scandal, the fact that he had seized another monarch, particularly one on crusade. He was immediately summoned by the Pope, who excommunicated uh, Leopold and condemned him for this terrible act of um, offence against the church and against the crusades. Richard then was transferred into the custody of the Holy Roman Emperor, and the Holy Roman Emperor demanded a massive ransom. Now this ransom was three times the entire income of the English crown, so obviously money wasn't uh, coming forth, coming immediately. So a quarter of the uh, uh, income of every uh, freeborn Englishman and every clergyman was actually demanded to be paid to the crown, but it still wasn't enough. Uh, nevertheless, uh, the Holy Roman Emperor did agree to release Richard on one condition, and that condition was 67 of the highest born of England would be put into his care effectively sort of paid to ransom. Things are a little bit sort of vague on this. However, we do know that uh, amongst those that were negotiating for the release of the king uh, was William Brewer the Elder. Now, William Brewer the Elder was the uh, Sheriff of Devon and his son was uh, William Brewer the Younger, obviously. And what we do know is that uh, shortly after that event, after the king was released and after the hostages were released, even though the uh, ransom hadn't actually been paid, that uh, William Brewer opened and funded the opening of uh, three abbeys, uh, one of which was Tor Abbey. So we believe, and it's, uh, it's assumed, that, that uh, was, the money was actually dedicated in thanks for his son being actually released from, uh, from being a hostage. The other close association we have between the Brewer family and Tor Abbey is this grave. Um, this is the grave of uh, William Brewer the Younger. Uh, William Brewer was actually buried here in 1232 and uh, he, was, uh, he was dressed in uh, the robes of a pre-Montratensian abbot, those white robes that, that we saw earlier. 